Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Today, we have a mixture of Discord submissions and videos I found myself. If you guys want to join my Discord and submit me something scary, then join it down below. If you go to the Scare Bass submission, put the spooky thing in there. If I react to it, I will give you a shout out. Today, we have four videos. I believe we know every single one of these creators. We've covered their videos in the past. And we're just going to start with Package from Hal Analog Horror by Amukadi Bozo. I think that's how you said the name. I have no idea. I apologize. But this is a continuation of the statue video we saw a couple of days ago, two or three days ago. And there's four tapes, I believe, in this series. This is the second one. There are three currently which we'll, we'll probably do the third one in another video. Be sure to go subscribe to all the creators down below. They will be linked in the order that I watch them. Please go show them your support and your love. If you don't know, the go watch the um, original, um, well, the first video, if you haven't. Don't watch my reaction. Go watch the actual video. You know what? In fact, guys, how about we start doing something? Find the video of what I'm looking at right now. There will be a link to each creator down below. Find the video. And then play it at the same time if you can, if you're on the PC. If you're on mobile, fair enough. It's all, it's all good. But let's give these people watch time and views, okay? Because I feel like it's a bit of a, a dick move just taking the content and getting the views. So I think we should, you know, we should, we should try and give back a little bit. But here we go. Jackson Lock, number two. We were able to contact Sarah's parents. So Sarah was the one in sight. Okay, listening to her mother scream in pure despair. It broke me. I need to give my son a hug when I get home. Anyways. We have received Sarah's autopsy reports. It's sickening. Sarah Kruzik autopsy. Drugs. Hang on. Is that is there, is there meant to be sound here? It's so quiet. So this just doesn't have sound. This is really eerie. Sarah Kruzik autopsy. Drugs and chemicals found in her system. Salvia div divinorum, hallucinogenic, pancuronium bromide, muscle relaxant, potassium, <laughs> potassium chloride, induced cardiac arrest. She was drugged, paralyzed, then euthanized. Damn, that's brutal, man. What the hell? Wounds. Seven stab wounds along the abdomen. Forearm bones were removed and was replaced with a seven inch thick pole stitched shut. Forearm bones were inserted seven inches into the... You, you, you guys can read that if you want. <clears throat> it's scary. How fast your life can be taken from you. Especially when the world is filled with sick fucks like him. Right? Earlier today when I got home, there was a package on our porch. It was labelled, From Hell. Jack the Ripper. Whoa, are they... Okay, hang on. Okay, so in the last video, there was a documentary at the very start that kind of talked about past serial killers. Uh, Jack the Ripper being one of them. Um, and Jack the Ripper, I believe, sent um, a letter basically taunting the police department. I believe the letter was titled From How. So maybe that this person's going through all like the serial killers or getting some inspiration from each serial killer and putting it with this. Okay, so... This was from Hal, apparently. What does that say at the bottom there? It reminds me of Skinnamarink. That freaking... That, that film, man. I'm not a big fan, I've got, I've got to admit. Get in there! Right. History of the world. Iron Maidens. All right, an Iron Maiden, guys. I'm just going to tell you now. It was like a cat sarcophagus kind of coffin deal, right? And there were spikes on the inside. I think they had them in like um, medieval times, ancient Egypt as well. I'm not sure. But they would close the casket. It was just a form of torture. It was disgusting. If you think about it, right, humans are vile, right? Thank God I don't live in medieval times because they just did weird shit. They were experimenting back then. They were thinking, what? how many things can I stick in this man's ass? <laughs> All right. A solid iron cabinet with a hinge front and an interior coated with spikes. Tall enough to confine a person makes up the torture tool known as the Iron Maiden. Ugh. In the 18th century... The first tales about the Iron Maiden were written. 
there is no proof that Iron Maidens existed before to the 18th century, despite their reputation as a medieval method of torture. Okay. However, there are historical accounts of the Spartan ruler Navis using a similar tool for extortion. Okay, hang on. Is, is this trying to say that the, the statue of Jesus was like an Iron Maiden? Because that's where Sarah was and found, murder right? circa 200 BC, ironically. The Abbasid Vizier Ibn al creation Zayats of a wooden oven like chest with iron spikes for torture would be applied when he was imprisoned and put to death in 847. Damn. Theoretical Iron Maidens, according to Wolfgang Skilled, a professor of criminal law, criminal law history, and philosophy of law at the University of Bielefeld, were built together from relics discovered in museums to make magnificent objects designed for commercial exhibition. Okay. In museums all around the world, such as the San Diego Museum of Man, the Meiji University Museum, and various torture museums in Europe, there are several 19th century Iron Maidens on display. Damn. Okay. So what, they're... Brilliant. Inside the package was three pictures. The first picture was that of a painting presumably made by the killer labelled home jeez what the hell is this supposed to be i don't know if that's your mum she's ugly mate the second picture was a drawing of a house on fire okay looks more like the house exploded but whose house is that i bet it's this dude's house i'll send these images to investigators to see if we can locate the house and drawing oh, obviously not actually because he would recognize it straight away so the last picture is interesting you know that scene from Scary Movie? Scary Movie... <laughs> the first Scary Movie. Hang on a sec. Let me, let, me, let me bring it up. If this cuts right now, guys, and you know it got copyrighted. <laughs> it's a photo labelled... The Serpent. Ooh. That's him. That's the killer. A very skinny man, no hair and a sadistic smile. Why would he send me a photo of his face? Because he enjoys the hunt. Yeah, he's taunting the police, of course, because he's doing the whole freaking um, Jack the Ripper, isn't he? But then again, Jack the Ripper didn't really show... Well, he couldn't show his face. You'd have to sketch his face back in the 1800s or 1700s, whenever it was. Why me? That doesn't matter right now. The killer knows where we live. I need to get Amanda and Jamie somewhere safe. Oh. And before I forget, the date is December 18th, 2011. I need to remember to put dates on these logs. Don't forget. Right, there is one more for that, but we'll do that in another video, guys. But Omakadi, oh up, keep up the good work. Okay, let me just go back quickly. Give it a like. Okay, go subscribe, guys. All that good stuff. I'm going to move on to the next video. So the next video is a video I actually missed. Uh, I did it in the wrong order. I did Ma uh, Musk on Mars first, but this one came before Musk on Mars. But I still think it's part of the Monument Mythos Season 3. And this is by Mr. Manticore. It's called After Angel, The Monument Mythos. I believe this was actually submitted on my Discord. Let me just... Um... Yeah, this was submitted by Balladry. Balladry. I think it was the same person who uh, submitted the other one. Dwight Comics, DC. Interesting. Babylon Forest, February 2022. What is this? Angel approaches freedom. So the angels were the amalgamation of a weapon that was fired off and then they all formed into this one beast. And then in the other season, this, this ghost angel thing and freedom fought and their fire that they, they they had such a big fight that it awoken the the earth serpent or whatever he's called the the underground serpent and then the world ended but this is like a different timeline it's that little smiley face
Future Angel's ashes slip through time and shift the neurons of past Angel. God, anything to do with time travel just messes my brain up. Because there's so many paradoxes when it comes to time travel. So, fu the, the future angel has now interrupted past angel, and I'm guessing they're not going to fight now. And the, the world isn't going to end. Right? Please kill me. Right. Well, that was unexpected. I thought they were going to have a nice hat to hat, but no. Freedom sliced its freaking head off. But technically, isn't that sword made of geezer glass? So is the angel actually... Freedom decapitates angel. Hang on, is this going off of the whole freaking um, the mythology thing? Monument mythology or whatever it's called. Is, is Angel like this? Oh, I don't know. Damn, Angel was not holding... I mean, Freedom was not holding back. Freedom. America. So what... What happens... What happens now? Well, there we go, guys. Freaking Angel just got decapitated by freedom. Which, I don't know what it does to the timeline now, but... Uh, it says stalemate Angel. Okay, so... They're not going to destroy each other. Technically, this... Is they're made out of geezer the swords made out of geezer glass, so the angel isn't dead, but the angel was never really human to begin with. It was like a like a energy, basically. So God knows what that does to the body. Who knows? But there we go, guys. That was uh, Mr. Manticore. Be sure to go and like and subscribe. So this next video was submitted by Mana Ghosts, and it's called Shadow Box Lost TV Intro. Now Mana Ghost um has interestingly something that i've backed in the past i'm not sure if this is still available but it's called mr howl a found footage ghost story illustrated novel and it's a 100 page collectible found footage ghost story in book form compiled from analog recordings and photographs and i thought it was such a like cool concept of um an idea i had to back it i think i did the 50 dollar back and they did a video that we watched in the past I forgot what it was called, but it was super dope. But yeah, this is called Shadow Box Lost TV Intro. And it says, the, the lost intro to a shadow box, the forgotten 1970s TV show, which traumatized a generation, now considered an, a hauntological artifact. Original copies are scarce and are said to be truly something to be handled with care. So haunt a logical. I mean, it will haunt you if you possess it. Yeah, this interests me. I don't know if this is actually real or not, but we're gonna have a look. Yeah. All right, let's just pretend it is real, guys. You're, you're a kid in the 1970s, right? You're tuning in to, to this program, Shadow Box, which maybe was a, a show about... Um, I'm not sure if it was a real show or if this is one of those things where people say that it was a real show, but it's not. Uh, I'll have to do my own research, but let's just pretend we're sitting down. You know, we've got our dinner and here we go. We're, we're looking forward to some nice spooky stuff now bear in mind that apparently this intro only bl played once and then was banned off of tv completely okay here we go lovely mm, 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 mm. what the f hang on whoa you can't just do that what the hell was that what is that? Is that that's a jester with real like a gappy tooth? Are those his legs? I don't know. Black band films. I don't 
damn, this does have that vibe. So if it was real, why was it banned? Oh my god. Right. I mean, I guess they're really distressing images. Well, not distressing, but shadow box. Based on the book by Christopher Hutchins. Adapted for television by Jonathan Crow. Welcome to Bristleton. Bristleton. Missing reel. Oh, that's not good. Right. So I don't think that is real, but it would be super interesting to see something like that done where... Because that feels super real. Don't get me wrong. Like, it feels super natural and real. But you... Because most, like, kind of horrors of this, of this genre a very hard but well, it's easy to kind of go oh this is fake you know what i mean like this is obviously fake but with stuff like this with the backstory and the visuals it makes it feel real and i remember there was a show i forgot what the show was called uh, i recently uh, watched a video by shrouded hand it was called like uh they basically did this fraud well, it wasn't fraudulent it was like a scripted ghost show i think it was uh, on the bbc or something like that so it was scripted, but and it said at the start that it was scripted, but some people tuned in late, and then the, the whole story was basically there's there's this like ghost or haunting demon haunting these children, and loads of people started calling in saying that you know this thing was affecting their television, and it caused a massive like outburst of uh, hysteria, I guess you could say. I forgot what it was called, but stuff like that you don't really see it much anymore. That's the thing. And I'd love to see more stuff like that. It was something that gets you questioning, is it real? You know what I mean? I love stuff like that. I love it so much. But So there we go, guys. That was Mana Ghost. Go and subscribe, like, and also go back his project. I'm not sure if you can... You can probably still pre-order it, obviously. But yeah. So this last video is a Backrooms video. Uh, we haven't watched a Backrooms video in a while. It's by Async Research. So this is a continuation of the series we've been watching. You, you guys should go and check out from the beginning if you haven't already. To be fair, I completely forgot what happened at the beginning. I know that this series is very good and it's not necessarily like, you know, jump scare, jump scare, jump scare. It's tension building, tension building. Sometimes it like relieves you with a jump scare. Other times it just holds it there. And I think that's what makes a horror great when you just put the audience on the edge of their seat constantly and they don't feel like they can get comfortable because there's been no release or relief of said monster, etc. This is called Backrooms Betrayal. This wasn't actually submitted by anyone. I, I, I looked at this myself because it came up on my feed. But here we go. We're going to jump straight in. Oh yeah, he went into the pool rooms. I'm going down. Oh yeah, he found someone else. <laughs> That is a hard floor. The water looks like jelly. Yeah, I'm good. You coming down? Yeah, I'm coming down right now. Okay. Man, I if I was just guy, I'd be, probably drink that water. Even though you're not meant to be drinking anything except almond water. I don't know. This guy must be thirsty uh, by now. Anything about this place? Uh, no, actually, I've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> that's. I don't even think we've ever came across anything. Okay, brilliant. Yeah, just keep going, mate. That, that's really uh, relieving that's to hear. Actually, no, I've never heard of this place. In fact, I think we're gonna die. Uh, Looks like it's our only path. Uh, it's really dark up there, so make sure to watch your step.
This guy's just walking in like freaking Vince McMahon. Here comes the money. Let me turn on the captions for you guys. What's that? It's a chicken. It's a rubber duck. That's a big ass flashlight, man. You're gonna need two people to operate that. That's a big onion. That's a five pound onion. Try turning it off. See if it works. Very nice. Okay. Alright, why don't you follow behind? Why? What, are you gonna go back on yourself? There's nowhere else to go but forward, man. You go over there, I'm just gonna stay over here. Said no one ever. In this kind of situation. Except, like, in, in every horror film ever. Hey, I'm just gonna go towards this dark abyss. There's, uh, two, two different ways. Which way should we go? <laughs> the way he approaches, man. No shit. Looks like it opens up to a room. Huh. A big-ass room. There'd be a lot of reverberation right now. It would sound something like... You Hello? Like gotta be at least 30 feet high in here. Sound like this. Sound like this. Hello? Is anyone, is anyone there? Hello? You, you hear me? Yeah, man, I hear you. Hello? Hello? Where are you going? Hello? What is he doing? This guy is like Calvin from uh, Sons of the Forest. Absolute devious character. No, no, I don't think so. At this point, you've gone so far underground that I... Halfway there. Halfway there. Is he even out of there? Oh, jeez. Cough my... He's literally just coughed right into the mic then. I feel like I've got COVID. Is it Why do you keep staying behind? Wait, why is this guy leading? The guy behind the camera is the dude that fell in in the first place. And the guy back there is one of the workers. Surely the guy in front should be going, the behind should be going first. No, you go ahead, I'm, I'm good. Oh yeah, brilliant. Not like he was just in one massive maze to begin with. It's a good plan. It's a good plan. Oh god, this is a a great time to get jump scared. But this is what I was talking about. Sometimes uh, nothing really. Sometimes it's just it's holding on. Please. What? What the hell are you? Some venom Small venom quote right works. there, guys. Looks like it. What the hell even are you? <laughs> Sounds nothing like that. What the hell are you? Well, there's light over here. <laughs> Dude, this guy, this guy, who is, this guy got absolutely baked. This guy, you know, I'm starting to think that this guy lied on his resume, okay, on his CV. You know, he has no experience. This guy just gets high and then just wanders into the back rooms. Uh, you should turn off your You, I'd feel so hopeless at this point. Like, you know what, dude? Let's just drown ourselves in this freaking little pond thing here. Is that even water? Yeah. <laughs> here comes the... Uh, Stop uh, saying it, Ryan. Right He's got that Vince McMahon walk, though. Are you sure this hallway? It's pretty dark. Uh, yeah, just keep going. Uh. What's going on, Adrian? Adrian! What is this? Uh, I have no clue. I've never seen anything like 
<laughs> Guy is so uninterested. There is another thing over there, though. There's only one doorway over here. Alright, uh, let's go take a look at that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, let's uh, go look at that. It's like me when I'm trying to talk. Can't articulate properly. Look at him, man. He's got a limp. This one looks pretty dark, too. Uh, that's alright. Just go ahead and I got your back. You got a flashlight, remember? Turn it on. Oh, wait. I guess you don't have to. We're good. Oh dear. Just jump down there, man. End it all now. Looks to be some sort of a pit. Is there anything down there? Be careful, don't get too close to the edge. Oh god, let me guess. He's gonna one of them's gonna fall in. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing at that guy's walk. It's mad how, like... What was that? What? That guy is so high what? out of his mind. Bro, walk! Run over to him! What? Oh my god. Where'd you go? Oh, great. Well, now you separate again. Oh, is this the walkway? Do you know which way we need to go? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm just guessing. <clears throat> oh, no, I guess. Hopefully I guess it's not. Us to an exit. Why is there no water in this pool? Uh, I don't <laughs> <know>. uh, <laughs> oh, God. It's like every single pilot ever. Uh, we're now landing here. Uh, if you guys could uh, fasten your seatbelts, please. We're. Uh, <clears throat> 15 minutes away from landing. Uh, can all air cabin crew please uh, make sure everything is locked down and prepare to be seated. Uh, weather in New York is a nice steady <clears throat> 18 degrees Celsius. Uh, if you look out onto your left, you will see that the engine is actually on the fire. Uh, we're going down, mayday, mayday, we're all gonna die. Uh, it just wasn't worth it, that wasn't funny. Wait, okay, so this is the end. Betray- th Hang on, this one was called Betrayal. So what happened? Chris's camera was recovered 200 feet from the threshold. Really? How it ended up there is unknown. Chris and Rob were never found. Well, there we go, guys. That was the end. That was it. That's how it... That's how they, they both died. Fantastic. There we go, guys. That was Async Research. Be sure to go like, subscribe. And with that, that is the end of the video. So if you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, rate, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And also, like I said before, go check out all the creators. They'll be linked down below in the order that I watch them. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video, and I shall see you in the next one. Take care, guys.